Welcome back to the Grow Marco Cooking Channel. My name is, of course, Mark Ashby. I am the internet's most favorite barbecue expert and the one and only self-proclaimed grillionaire. Today, we are in episode three of our series called Cooking the Books, and I've got a special one for you today. We're going international. I messaged my friend, Marwan Irani. He is the owner of Spice Walla. He is the shaggy chef. He is the Maharaja of Marsala. So I slid into his DMs and I said, Marwan, listen, I'm doing this Cook in the Book series. I need one from you. And he said, sure. How about this lamb burger recipe? So today we're doing our take on the shaggy chef's lamb burger. Let's get started. <laughs> Because the Shaggy Chef is the owner of Spice Walla, you can see right here, I've got all the Spice Walla ingredients that go with this recipe. This is gonna be a flavor bomb, but we're doing it just a little bit different so that we can make it our own because that's what he wanted us to do. So our first step, we have to put together the lamb patties. Yeah, the lamb patties, the mixture of the lambs. We're just gonna put stuff together in a bowl before we throw it on the grill. For this cook, Marijuan did it in his kitchen in a cast iron pan. We're using our Grilla Grills Kong. I've got it blazing at 405 degrees. And to get those great sear marks, I've got these beautiful man grates that have been heating up since we started up the grill. But let's put our lamb patty mixture, whatever the hell this is. We're gonna put this all together. We've got one pound of fresh ground lamb. We're gonna put this in the bowl. I got this one pound of ground lamb at Publix. I meant to go to another supermarket to get fresh ground lamb. I just forgot. So we had to get the prepackaged stuff. Totally fine. You do what works for you. We also have some great fresh ingredients here. We have some ginger. We have some serrano pepper finely diced garlic and a little bit of cilantro as well along with the spices here so let's throw all this together and see what comes out one teaspoon of freshly chopped ginger one teaspoon of freshly diced serrano chili peppers one teaspoon of freshly minced garlic a quarter cup of freshly chopped cilantro. Next, take the garam masala and we're doing a half teaspoon of that. Half a teaspoon of freshly ground turmeric. Half a teaspoon of coriander. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Half a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Lastly, a healthy pinch of some Sicilian sea salt. I'm gonna go two pinches just because I like a little salt in my burger. Now, let's get dirty like I like to in barbecue and let's mix this together. That smells really good. When you're done, you should have a nice flavored meatball just like this. And then we're gonna take this and cut it into about quarters. We're gonna use a burger mold and we're gonna throw it on the man grates, let it cook for about three to four minutes on each side and get those great sear marks. And while those are grilling, getting that delicious smoky flavor and incredible sear marks from the man grates, we're gonna make a nice mint sauce to go on the bottom of this. For our burger press, we're gonna be using our ultimate burger press. What's really great about this is it has this nice indentation so that it cooks nice and evenly. It's not gonna puff up on you or shrink too much. We've got the bigger of the mold because I like a big burger. We're gonna spray the inside with a little oil so that it comes out. Take a nice ball and just kind of stuff it in there until it fits. I almost got it right on the first time. Pretty good. Got it in the mold and this is how it comes out. Nice indentation but it's gonna cook super evenly. Look at all that beautiful flavor in there. All the turmeric, all the spices, the peppers, cilantro. I'm so excited about this. When you're putting this on the grill, especially with a Kamado, 
you got to make sure you burp it. Let that air in before you lift it because otherwise you could get a backdraft and you might look like this. Spray down the mangrates, even though they are seasoned, you want to make sure that we have a nice non-stick surface. And here goes the sizzle. Beautiful. We're going to let that cook for about five to six minutes and then we're going to flip it. While this is cooking on the grill, we're going to make our mint sauce. This is what makes this minty lamadelic burger unique. First, we are going to take this whole milk, plain Greek yogurt, and you're going to do one half cup. Just like that. Take some freshly chopped mint. Sprinkle that in there, about one tablespoon. Then we're using Mike's hot honey here. Take some honey and we're gonna do about two tablespoons full. You can go a little heavy, that is quite all right. Next, roll your lemon so that we can get all the juice extracted. Chop it in half. And then squeeze it through your fingers. We're doing one whole lemon juice, one juice of whole, the lemon juice of one whole lemon. And then eat that in the yard, do it again. But we're not done with this one yet. Before you eat this one, take your microplaner and we're gonna get just a little bit of lemon zest in there as well to add a nice citrus flavor. Now you can eat it. Lastly, some more Sicilian sea salt do a heavy pinch of sea salt. Take your whisk and mix everything together. Set this in the fridge while we finish cooking this so it all comes together. Again, burp that tomato. Look at that thing. It puffed up, but it didn't go out far. So let's check out the sear marks. Woo -wee! That is looking good. So we're gonna let this cook another five minutes. The burger is almost done, so that means we gotta toast our buns. You're gonna get just a little bit of Duke's mayo, spread that on there to get a nice sear and toasting, and of course grow marks because we're using mangrates. And as soon as that burger's done, we're gonna take it off, let it rest for a few minutes while these toast. We are done, the timer has gone off. So let's take a look at this gorgeous, lamalicious, minty, lam minty, lamalicious burger. Woo wee! Look at that. Gorgeous sear marks. And if we flip it over, still got the sear marks right there as well. These grill marks are perfect. So we're gonna take this off we're going to let it rest here, and we're going to throw that bun on and let it toast for just a couple minutes. Let's take a look and see. It's just been about a minute and a half or so. Oh, baby. That looks perfect, just like me. Now let's put this beautiful burger together. Our first step to assembling this gorgeous burger, look at these sear marks. I mean, seriously, perfect toasting, gorgeous sear marks, that just makes the burger even better. We're gonna take our yogurt sauce, the minty yogurt sauce. We're gonna put this on the bottom, okay? That's gonna be our base for this burger. Now that we've got our sauce on the bottom, we're gonna take some caramelized onions that I cooked on the hot box earlier, and we sliced up a fresh one. We're gonna put that on the base next, followed by a roasted bell pepper that I roasted right here on the cone. And we're gonna go four strips with that. Next, take your gorgeously seared and cooked per to perfection burger patty. Put that on there. We're gonna take some crumbled feta cheese and that is going to be our topping. And top it off with the bun. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty now you know we gotta cut it dive in and take a bite so we're gonna slice it right down the middle here we got this gorgeous brioche bun i think it's nature's own and there 
is the cross section. Look at all that flavor, the cheese, the onions, the sauce. Oh baby, there's that. One last look before I take a gorgeous, gorgeous, delicious bite. Mayor One, thank you. This looks awesome. So, here we go. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. Whoa. This is packed with flavor. Wow. There's not really any heat to it. It's got a nice earthy flavor to it. The feta cheese adds a nice tang. The caramelized onions and the yogurt sauce give that nice mint flavor as well. Ooh. Mmm. Look at that. God, man, bless America. This is fantastic. This might be one of the best burgers I've ever had. Mmm. Wow. I'm definitely gonna finish this thing before all the flies get to it out here. I am so thankful for Marijuana participating in our episode of Cooking the Books. My version of this recipe is gonna be on my website, grillmarkco.com. Just go there, go to the menu board blog. That's where I put articles, recipes, videos, everything you can find right there. I even sell merch and grilling accessories that you can get for your grilling deck. Until next time, make sure you keep those grills fired up so the flavor doesn't go down. We'll see you next time. Mm. Thanks for watching.